Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore the burn tool. So burn tool can be seen in the toolbox here. So in the toolbox, if you go down here, you have the burn tool. Generally, you will see this uh, magnifying lens sort of icon. If you just click open that, you have the dodge tool, you have the burn tool and the sponge tool. So go for the burn tool. If you are in the dodge tool and you want to access that with the keyboard shortcut, first if you press the shortcut of O, you get this dodge tool. If you press shift O, you can cycle between these tools. So I can choose this uh, hand icon and I can start using that on my image. This tool is basically a quick way to edit your image. There are different other ways of editing the picture, especially this burn tool. Uh, burn tool is used to actually make the part of the pictures to be more dark. Okay. So when I'm saying the part of the picture, it means firstly, I can uh, use this burn tool like a brush and in brush you have the size options where you can make this as a big size brush and then when i start clicking that it affects only in that particular area okay so you can choose a hard brush here and then when you reduce this brush and you should be able to see this part of the picture is becoming darker so when i'm saying the part of the picture this is one thing the other thing is if you just go to the options called ranges you have shadows midtones and highlights so what is the shadows is the darkest part of this picture is considered as the shadows the most darkest part is this area in the sweater okay so when you hover this you could able to see the black sweater is getting more affected the wool part is affecting more in comparative with the skin okay why is that because i told that the burn should affect only the shadow regions don't take it like light and shadow uh, here the shadow means the darkest part of the picture okay so as the wool is the dark part it's affecting clearly that part and you could see there is an enhanced uh, appearance of this particular area okay and if I just do that on the shawl part, you could able to see that is also getting a unique uh, tone over the picture. Okay, it, it looks more saturated and uh, um, more colorful. Okay, however, uh, I recommend you uh, to use a soft brush here and also go for a high flow. Okay, so if you are going into the brush tip. You have spacing so increase or sorry decrease the spacing percentage so that you get that nice seamless effect because earlier i was getting that circles or blob effects so use that for making it so you, should, you could see the image looks way better in terms of the saturation and contrast is concerned okay so uh, it was affecting only the shadows and if i use the midtones it is the uh, mid value of the luminosity okay so i can basically use it on the skin tones okay that makes it more darker and you can use this only if you want to make uh, it to be slightly dark i mean especially the skins so i can use less intensity like exposure of 10 and slightly darken it up and then the picture looks the face looks more dark and you could see the clear difference how pale this image was and how sharp and contrast this picture again i don't say that was wrong but this is a different choice of your requirements and the next thing is we have the highlights which covers up the brightest part of the picture like here the beard or the highlights in the eyes and on the nose okay so when you're doing that it darkens up that part of the picture and uh, preferably you can use the midtones to get a overall darkening of the uh, the uh, photograph okay so a burn tool is slightly sensitive and uh, using it up can completely damage your uh, photograph so use it carefully 
you have protect tones and uh, it is by defaultly on and preferably keep it on only if you don't do that there could be a um, overall loss of the details so uh, make sure that you're keeping this on and sometimes if, if it's off and it's working for you never mind use it there's no such hard rule to avoid or definitely you need to keep protect tones on it's not like that you can use any way 